Good morning, servants. Good morning, raw god of sunlight. Good morning, my beautiful city-state Thebes, with its rolling hills and endless fields of growing crops. Hang on, where is everyone? Why is it so dark in here? I feel as though death has come over me and a blanket of darkness is hovering over my head. She has no clue she has died, silly girl. Yes, Cleopatra has been put into her sarcophagus, and yes, the dark curtain of death has been thrown over her head. She started to slowly get up. Instead of stepping out as a human, she appeared to be a ghost. As she got out, she saw the spells written in hieroglyphics on the side of the sarcophagus. She realized this was to get into the underworld. Now that she was starting to understand everything, she decided to go to the palace to visit her mother. I am going to go check on my mother in the palace. I hope she is okay. I have not seen her since I died. Wait a second. I just thought of something. How did I die anyways? Finally, that girl figured out she's dead. It's about time. I'll follow her and maybe I'll meet up with her So later. Cleopatra floated to the palace to see her mother. As she looked around in all the rooms, she finally found the room her mother was in. Peeking through the door that was barely open, she was able to see a little bit of the room. At the same time, she was overhearing a conversation between her mother and the doctor. Maybe they are also trying to figure out my cause of death. I wonder what my doctor's theory is. That's it. Maybe I could have died from a disease. I really want to know. So maybe I should go to the doctor's office with all my files written on the beautiful papyrus and hieroglyphics. Cleopatra followed the doctor out of the queen's palace into his office. Just as quickly as he had got in there, the doctor left. Why would he leave so quickly? I had to talk to him. I guess I'll go back to the tomb and see him later. Oh, I can't wait to go on this journey. Once I figure out the terrible disease that killed me, I will be able to go to the underworld and live a happy afterlife. I better tell my car the good news. Hey guys, guess what? That! I am going on a trip to find out the disease that killed me. But the problem is I can only take one of you on my journey. That would be me, right? Well, she is going to take me since I am the spiritual part. Everyone knows that you need the car. Why should she take you? You are so selfish and rude. I am the selfish one. You are the one who doesn't even want her to go on the journey. You just want her for your own. You know that when she finds a disease, she will happily go to the underworld and she will not need you anymore. Ka, harsh much? Bah, I am sorry, but I think she has made her decision. Fine, we will see who she chooses. Fine, we will let her choose her path. After all, it is her afterlife. Cleopatra decided to bring both Ka and Ba since they would not stop bickering. Okay, I am going to go find the doctor and talk to him. Then she searched for the doctor and finally found him in his office. Excuse me, are you busy right now? I need to talk to you about my death and what caused it. Just as Cleopatra was finishing her sentence, the doctor left the room, slamming it in her face. Well, while I am here, I might as well look around. Maybe I'll find some papers on my disease. So Cleopatra started searching for the papers, eager to find the disease. I wonder if the parts of the soul, Ka and Ba, have any effect on me figuring out what disease I had. My daughter, your soul, the Ka and the Ba, may be affecting your finding, but you cannot let that stop you from achieving your goal. You must figure out why you had to be buried, covered with Narton, and have your organs taken up. Talk to the soul. Dear father, I will do that. Wait, who are you? I am Pata, the creator god. It has been said that I created the world with my thoughts and words. Thank you. Hi. Yes, my dear hostess? What do you need? If you will stop fighting, I will be able to get my task done. Then, when the task is complete, I will let one of you go. If it is anyone, it should be the Ba. The Ba is very bad. No, it should be the Ka. The Ka is even worse. Ba! Ka. It must be the Ba! It should be the Ka. This went on and on until Cleopatra and Pata stopped them. Dear children, please do not fight. We must get something done. He is right. I will come back to this situation. My daughter, I have found something on the sheet of papyrus.
I know what disease you have died from. You died from tuberculosis, and it infected your digestive and immune systems. They got infected when you drink all that disgusting milk. Do you remember that? Oh yes, that time. How did it impact those? Body systems. They are body systems, but the digestive system got infected because you drink the contaminated milk, and the immune system got infected because the contaminated milk tried to kill your immune cells. Oh, that makes sense. Now I think I know who I will kick out. My soul's come to me. She finally knew what she had to do. What do you need now? I need to kick one of you out. We know that. Will you be kicking out the bar? No, you will be kicked out. That's a good choice. Wait, what? Yes, 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 yes. Goodbye, dear Kai. You have served me well. I will stay with you as long as I possibly can. Goodbye, Kai. It is time for me to leave for the underworld. Already? I feel as though your journey has just begun. Well, I found my disease and now my fate awaits me in the afterlife. I am sorry, but I must go. You never know when we may see each other somewhere in between our worlds. I know, and I should be happy for you. And I am. I will just miss you, that is all. Well, after my journey, I think I deserve a little reward. You are right. Have a good afterlife, and I hope your heart is full of good deeds. Oh, my dear I miss the wall that separated the farming district from the high-class district. No longer will I be able to live in peace and harmony, separated from those horrid smells that gave me migraines. In the underworld, I will have to deal with the putrid smells of farming. That wall was so worth it, especially since the slaves worked for almost a year to build it. My daughter, please do not act that way, so spoiled and bratty. You need to realize that not everyone is as rich and as prosperous as you are, and you need to recognize that farming is only one way some people can live. I guess that makes sense. Let us move on to the marketplace. That was where I traded for all of those lovely flowers for the banquets and parties. Yes, those flowers were very beautiful, and you bought them all at a very high price. Some of those vendors lived on the amount of gold and silver rings you gave them. You really can be generous. Yeah, I guess. You know that lovely town plaza that your father, King Kafu Sr., organized? It was impressive work by the slaves. It took them a very long time to build it. Mud brick by mud brick. It allowed the lower class people, except for the slaves, to view the palace from the top of the sand dune by the Nile. Yes, it was magnificent. We must get back to the palace now. Osiris will want to judge my heart soon. We are now at the palace. Your mother must be grieving, for it's almost time to go to the underworld. Come on, I am too sad to talk. Let's go to the tomb. Wait, there's your room. Let's go in your deathbed and see it. Yes, okay, no, let us go to the tomb. Fine. They ended up going to the tomb and beginning to get her set up for the underworld and Osiris. Let me go. Goodbye, my daughter. No, I want my car back. I want to stay here forever. Don't worry, your highness. I am just as good as the car, maybe even better. Trust me. But I want to be able to stay in this ghost form. The only way I can is with the car. You, on the other hand, will keep me in the underworld for good. Please stop this. You know I will make your life in the underworld a whole lot better. Please trust the experienced one. No, I want my car back, and I want to stay in Thebes. My child, you need to trust me in the ball. We know what is best for you. Fine, I guess I can trust you, but please keep me safe in the underworld. I will. Goodbye, dear Pata. I will miss you. Goodbye, my dear child. Be good for Osiris. So, Osiris has just weighed my heart, and he said that my deeds weighed equal to a feather. That is pretty awesome. You are one good queen. I feel as if me figuring out my cause of death made all my bad deeds go away. Maybe they did, and your remembering it made you oblivious to Osiris. The sarcophagus is actually much more comfortable than I expected it to be. It makes me think of my old bed in the palace. I wonder if you thinking about your bed made it more comfortable. Maybe it did. In the underworld, it is so cool. Because every time I encounter a monster, I just say spill and poof, it goes away. Cool. I wonder why I ever wanted to stay in Thebes. It was a really great place, but the underworld is even better. Good for you. 
Now, I'd better get back. I see a monster heading my way. See you later, Ba. Bye.